Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about microservices. Microservices is a buzzword trending in the IT industry. Like almost every IT company is going to employ microservices in their product development. So like, let us see what microservices are. Like, microservices is a phenomenon of building applications as a collection of multiple independent services, which are loosely coupled. So don't get uh, confused with the definition. It is nothing but like a entire product can be split into multiple modules and which have less dependency on each other. So it is what microservices is and it is nothing but decomposing the application into various modules like which are independent of each other like they are not dependent on one uh, one on one another. So it is what microservices are like uh, before going to understand what microservices are what are the conventional and traditional model which are used by most of the companies before microservices like see uh, this is an example of monolithic architecture so it is the thing before microservices like uh, com suppose consider an e-commerce application uh, which contains a registration page a search page a payments processing page and a reviews and support page so these are multiple modules involved in the e-commerce application so in the traditional systems there is only one database for the entire thing so registration in the same database such in the same database payments data in the same database and reviews and support data in the same database so so uh, like you can ask what are the problems associated with the monolithic architecture like what's what is wrong in maintaining all the all the modules with the single database like suppose if you need to do any modifications in the registration phase what happens is you need to uh, like as every module is in the same database so every module is dependent on one another so if you want to make any changes in the registration uh, registration page so you need to ch make changes to everything so what happens ultimately there is a uh, drawback like you need to be uh, you are too dependent like each module is dependent on another so it makes productivity very low and therefore the problems arises the performance will decreases so for every for maintaining everything uh, like you need to maintain uh, all other modules also so for, to make any changes in one module you need to make changes in every module so these kind of dependency can arouse you uh, many problems so for that microservice architecture has been proposed and what it does is like uh, for every module there will be an independent database so it will not be not be dependent on like any other module so like see the same e-commerce application can be used with microservices in this model like for registration there is one separate database for such there is one separate database for payments there is one separate database and for reviews and support there is another database so these kind of dependencies like if you want to make changes in the registration so you only need to make changes in the registration and without compromising or without changing any other so it gives you a flexibility to make your product available all the time also when you consider uh, in the in the monolithic architecture so you need to use only one programming language for entire thing because everything is dependent on other so if you use uh, many different programming language for all the modules then it will be difficult for you to maintain so but when you coming uh, like when you come to microservice architecture you can use freely whatever the programming language you use for different um, different modules for registration if you will php as a convenient you can go with that for search engine you can even feel javascript or node.js as comfortable you can go with that and developers can work independently on modules without depending on other modules this is a free culture you are going to get by using microservices and this is how microservice architecture will look like like there will be a client and an identity provider like identity provider in the sense um, it they gives you a authentication to access into the particular service and there is a api gateway as yes, it is an important thing in microservices like it provides you an api application programming interface for a particular service so that uh, our microservices are linked with the api gateway so if, if the client requests an api gateway uh, that he needs one particular service then api gateway will provides you the particular service and what about this like static content and cdn like these are the content which microservices can provide to the client so and remote service in, is nothing but it can gives you uh, what are the microservices requested by the client to the user to the client 
So it is what microservice architecture and these are all the components which are constituted in the microservices like clients are the one who uses identity provides provides you an authentication API gateway provides you different services of the product and messaging format like in order to uh, communicate in order to get communicated one day one microservice with other so we need we are going to use some my messaging formats and databases yes there are independent and multiple databases for each module so there is no dependency and static content is nothing but the data which microservice can uh, provide to the client a management service discovery these are all the components of microservice like how microservices it communicate with each other there are two ways again synchronous and asynchronous when you go with synchronize so clients wait for the responses from a service like if a client uh, wants to get uh, one service from the product so uh, in order to communicate the clients wait for the message so for that we are going to use rest api which is very famous because it relies on stateless client server on http protocol as there is no state uh, it is the best for synchronous way of communication and there are other thing called asynchronous messages like clients actually don't prefer to wait for the responses uh, we can like uh, whenever um, like a, a service in the online or service provider is in online they can provide uh, whenever they are whenever they are free so that there is no dependency on there is no um, no waiting for the client so we can done using uh, many different services like kafka activm key and strong so these are all the different way of communication of microservices like inter intercommunication between different modules or different microservices and like uh, let us explain microservices concept uh, based on uber uber initially uses the monolithic architecture like this like uh, these like consider adapters or nothing but a services different services provided by the user and or a single database for entire thing and so if the clients want to communicate so um, as 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 you know uh, they need to request rest api for a particular service uh, and they can get access to the browser like in the same problem as we have discussed earlier if there is one there is there has to be change in the one particular adapter or one one particular uh, one particular module so we need to compromise entire thing so that creates a problem of uber as in the initial stages uber doesn't feel it as a problem but as uber is expanding uh, expanding entirely toward the world so uber uh, faces it as a problem so they have converted their architecture into a microservice architecture see here like there is only one api gateway which is connected to different modules like passenger management is one module driver management is one module trip management is one module these are three different mod, um, modules which are primarily used by uber right and and when you go billing billing has to be managed by trip management payments has to be managed by passenger management and notifications to the driver about the arrival and booking of the customers so these are all not interdependent so that there is no dependency among them because a api gateway will have connection with all the modules so that each module can work independently if there is a problem in the uh, payment section it will not affect others only the change in the payment section uh, will make entire thing work work in a comfortable manner also when you see these kind of things like uh, if the passengers who are searching for the rides are more than passengers who book rides so these kind of mechanism uh, makes microservice architecture best suitable for the uber like when you go with monolithic it always depends on one another like a person searching for a rights and efforts a person booking for a rights there is no relation but in monolithic architecture we need to compromise everything with a, a dependent manner so by using microservice architecture everything is uh, independent so if there is if there has to be uh, change done to any module we, we are only supposed to that module only we are not going to compromise any other thing for that and there are various features of microservices and we can say it as advantages there are multiple components yes we can maintain multiple modules uh, in uh, by using microservices without depending on any other module and it makes productivity freely and um, at, at a performance oriented and decentralized as there has there is no dependency between the modules there is no uh, centralized database here so for every module there is one independent database so it is completely decentralized and secured manner and simple routing yes a api gateway is al al always available for the client to route into 
what the user needs what, what yes it is resistant to failures and we don't need to compromise every other module for failure in one particular module so it is very resistant to failures and frequent releases yes in the previous versions of uh, software architecture like monolithic architecture it is difficult to release our software or update a version of our software in a frequent manner because we need to make changes to entire software so it is a problem so for microservices provides you a flexibility to release your updated versions in a very frequent manner and last thing is evolutionary yes of course every it giant is going to employ microservices in their software development pattern because microservices is the future because we are in a big data world so the scalability is high so we need scalable applications so microservices is the best option so that's all for today and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you